We begin tonight with an update coming down from the Texas governor's office. Governor Greg Abbott making a statewide call on those currently in and running for public office to pledge against the defunding of police departments. He took to Twitter this morning to make that pledge a pledge announcement. Take a listen. Some cities in Texas want to defund and dismantle police departments in our state. This reckless action invites crime into our communities and it threatens the safety of all Texans, including our law enforcement officers and their families. We cannot let this happen in Texas. So in the most simpler ter simple terms, defunding police means taking money from the department's budget and reallocating it to other agencies and community based programs. But what exactly would defunding the police look like here in the coastal bend? And could a measure to reallocate funds from our police department to help other city programs happen? Our Ashley Gonzalez sat down with Mayor Joe McComb and the president of the Police, Asso police Officers Association for their take. Defunding the police. It's an idea that's making its rounds on social media with Texas cities like Dallas and Austin in favor of making cuts. The money instead going toward other services like mental health and even crisis counselors. But what could happen if law enforcement took a major budget cut? Scott Leiden of the Corpus Christi Police Officers Association says, depending on how much would be cut, it could be a catastrophe for the community. If you have several officers that are tied up on, a, on an accident on 37, but an officer on 624 needs backup, that resource may be all the way back into Ayers or Greenwood that has to go out there and back that officer up. So that's potentially a life-threatening situation. It's a hazard for the officers working in those conditions. Defunding police departments across Texas isn't something Governor Greg Abbott wants. This reckless action invites crime into our communities and it threatens the safety of all Texans, including our law enforcement officers and their families. Now, Abbott is demanding all Texans running for office to sign a Back the Blue pledge. This means encouraging local officials to oppose defunding local law enforcement. We cannot let this happen in Texas. But here in Corpus Christi, Mayor Joe McComb says defunding the police is not going to happen. We're ahead of the governor. We're, we, we're put our money where our mouth is. In fact, McComb says the city is doing the opposite. City Council is actually working to invest more money in the Corpus Christi Police Department. We spent millions of dollars on infrastructure for the police. Last year, we adopted a program, a five-year program, where we had added five new officers a year for five years. Leiden says his job isn't only a job, it's a commitment to not only his family, but our families. This is where our families are. And some of us go back several generations of having families here. So it's always something that, that we have worked collectively to make Corpus a better place. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.